My name is Wes Robbins, and I'll be introducing my research titled Towards Multimodal Vision Language Models Generating Non-Generic Text. I'll start off with some background. Vision language models combine information from the, both the visual and linguistic domains, allowing them to perform tasks such as image captioning and visual question answering. There are various applications of vision language models. One important application is aiding visually impaired persons, for example, by automatically creating alt text for digital images. Current vision language models are powered by object detection, which detects semantically distinct regions in an image. These models are able to create accurate and syntactically correct text, however the text is often overly general, which detracts from the quality of the text, as humans often use named entities. In human communication, non-generic language is important. It allows us to precisely discuss entities in our world, such as person names and business names. In the image on screen, the most relevant information is the presence of named political figures, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. This motivates my research question, which is how can vision language models identify named entities and generate non-generic text? First, to identify named entities, we use auxiliary classifiers. Specifically, we focus on facial recognition and OCR, as can be seen in this image. Next, to generate non-generic text, we use auxiliary tokens as an additional modality, which are passed to the caption generating model. This allows our model to generate captions such as Bernie Sanders standing in front of a screen that says this week. This is the architecture diagram of our proposed approach. We contribute two primary changes to the baseline model. First, we add non-generic tokens as an input in addition to traditional object detection. Second, we append the non-generic tokens at, to the model vocabulary at inference time. This allows the captioning model to select between both the traditional model vocabulary and the newly discovered non-generic terms. Given this architecture, a primary difficulty was training the model to use the non-generic terms. This was a difficulty because many current image caption datasets don't include named entities. To overcome this challenge, we collect a new data set, which we title Politicians and Athletes and Captions. This data set consi consists of 1,500 images of various ind individuals from around the world. To train our model, we use our new data set along with an another internet scale data set. With this training procedure, we're able to get qualitatively improved results on some images. This figure compares our model's captions against the baseline model, it can be seen that our model is able to integrate named entities naturally into captions. For example, Aung San Suu Kyi is at the World Economic Forum, and LeBron James is wearing a purple jersey with the number 23. The primary result from our research was that our model significantly improves on the baseline on the PAC data set across five different metrics by being able to use named entities in image captions. So in conclusion, our proposed approach allows learned integration of non-generic terms identified by auxiliary classifiers. A few paths of possible future work include adding additional auxiliary classifiers or adopting the proposed approach to visual question answering. Here are my references from the slides and thank you for listening.